happy vape day to you. Happy vape day to you. Happy vape day, dear Luke, Polish Vapes UK, you bad motherfucker. Happy vape day to you. Yeah! <laughs> Welcome everybody to episode three of. Oh, looks like we got someone playing their audio. We have. <coughs> Welcome Hello, to everyone. episode three, guys. <coughs> Vaping dawn to dusk. <coughs> Obviously, today is my first year of no smoking, so very Yay! proud to announce that. So, um, over everyone's to you, Judy. proud of you. <laughs> I'm gonna take my hat off How does it feel being one year no no smoking? Have you guys been talking about it today? <clears throat> uh, not too much, to be honest. I've been very busy uh -huh. running around, as you know. <clears throat> again, I oh, yeah. um, picked pick my son up this today, so I was running around again, trying to get back ready for the show. <clears throat> Is it time but, for yeah. me to turn off the party hat now, or would you like me to keep it on? You can keep it on if you want. It just gets in my way a little bit. <clears throat> Okay. But, um, we're just a uh, quick run over today. I'm going to be vaping on the Cherry Bomber V2, which switches from parallel to series with my 13 Heavens RDA. I'm so um, jealous of your new <coughs> Cherry Bomber. Obviously, I have my VT Box DNA 200 with the Crown Tank running in temp control. And the juice I'm on today, uh, big shout out to Fresho Free. This is his recipe for his peach yogurt, which I'm absolutely loving. Yummy. <clears throat> That's legendary among our friends, that recipe. And my peach is almost here. I'm going to make that too and be excited. Love Fresh 03. I want to say hello to everybody. Everybody, thank you for watching our show. This is Vaping, Dawn to Dusk. This is where it's early as a motherfucker in Seattle. And I just woke up, and so I'm so sorry. I need to drink some more caffeine. And we say... <laughs> Good night to the people in Europe and everybody in every time zone. And everybody's welcome. Today is a special day. It's his first vaping anniversary, obviously. And um, also, thank you for everybody in chat too. And we'll say hi. I know that I know that um, Aid's here. I know that Michaela's here. I know that uh, Skeletor is here, and a bunch of other people. And we love all you guys. Today, um, Cloud Beast 12 is having a, a cloud comp in Florida, and it's happening about right now. And uh, not in Florida, I forget exactly where it is. Anyway, if you know Cloud Beast 12, just look him up on Instagram and then go to his Cloud Comp today. And uh, hopefully they're having a great time. Skeletor is right here with us, right here. And uh, how much stuff do we have to actually tell everybody? Um, I would actually, I'll quickly do it. Um, the video is being already put up onto YouTube. Uh, YouTube. <coughs> I'll screen share uh, the winner um, for my 500. Um, Giveaway for my 500 subscribers. Um, That's right. Put Your up, 500 put up, put up the video, um, and the winner was G Shire Vapor. <clears throat> so you will be after the live show's finished, you'll receive a message on YouTube from me, and we'll sort out details and getting that sorted for you. Congratulations, G Shire Vapor. I bet you wish you were in the chat right now. So obviously that I will be doing a giveaway later. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do it yet, but we'll have a little giveaway for an RDA. Um, I'm not going to worry about UK or America. I don't mind this. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a giveaway as it is my one-year smoke-free. So <clears throat> I will pay the shipping for that. That's awesome. And in fact, you know, uh, if it's a big deal, if it comes to the US, I'll pay the shipping. No big deal. That's our show, man. Okay. It's your birthday. It's your no, not birthday. It's your vape day. <laughs> That's so it's so so exciting. You're gonna give away <clears throat> that incredibly cool. Thing. And uh, <clears throat> obviously, um, if you want to catch next week's show, it's actually gonna be on Sunday next week because uh, I am going up to meet Aid Whiplash, <clears throat> which some people know, one of the UK admins from Marvaporium. Looking really forward to going up there and actually finally meeting in person after the few months of talking on my vaporium. That is so awesome. I am so jealous and that's great. I think that's awesome. You guys are going to have a good time. 
Yeah, and I do believe we are going to have Aid on as a guest on the Sunday as well. Yep, so that's, that's the plan. Cool. That that's is the, the plan, plan sir. <laughs> Aid is like, you can give it to me hand delivered. We have about a half a half a minute delay, but we'll, we can get wow. up on chat. <laughs> it, it, what, the way the giveaway is going to work, it's uh, whoever types in the answer is going to be the winner. So if you're quick enough, Aid, it could be yours. We we'll have right. to wait and see. And we're going to give it away uh, sometime during the the yeah. vapor story. And we should tell you that today our guest is Daniel DJ LSB, and uh, from his YouTube channel Daniel DJ LSB Labs. And uh, we'll have links for all the stuff in the description. And everyone knows him anyway because he's the coolest <laughs> Portuguese and tech yeah. guy in the world. And he'll be yeah. on here in just a minute. How cool is he on a scale of one to ten, Luke? About ten. About ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably out there with Phil Basar. He's actually. <laughs> yeah, he's probably actually 11. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know Phil Brasardo, <laughs> but no one's ever told me he wasn't cool. So, yeah. yeah I believe that. He definitely knows what he's what he's talking about. And obviously, if you don't know who Daniel is, you need to go and check his channel out. Yeah, and we're going to get to know him a little bit. Uh, today, I'm vaping on my uh, Hot Sig, which is always backwards, DNA 200, which I still love. And uh, even though it developed a new problem, the double magnet epoxy came out, so I got to epoxy <laughs> that. So that's kind of fun. But still, I'm doing this on my Watofo. I've got those same exact uh, incredibly nice coils, the double Clapton's. But I am vaping today on Psycho X. Uh, I got the whole line from Smiley, which I'm very excited. They sent me a very professional package. I'm doing a review. Today is Psycho X, and I, I think it's Drama Queen is the one I put in there. And, of course, I have my crown. At 50 watts on the Kanger, because I can't not ever have a crown. And this is this has got a door, um, pure peach in it, and it would have hazy custard, but I don't have enough to vape five tanks of it. <laughs> um, I just don't. So um, I'm through with business. Let's get Daniel in here. Yep. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. Daniel, you're ready to talk. Hello. Hey, buddy. How are How's you? Everyone? I'm fine. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows who you are, Daniel, but do you want to give everybody a little, a little bit about who you are and what you do? I'm Daniel from DJLSB Vibes YouTube channel. Uh, I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, on my own DJLSBVibes.com website. I do vape reviews, also 30 minutes quick looks, and yeah, and today I'm vaping on, let me start, okay, I'm vaping on Adore e-liquid hazy custard, crack cocaine, <laughs> at 200 watts on the velocity, uh, on top of the... Um, Hot Sig DNA 200, the shitty DNA 200 <laughs> device that that I actually love. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it weird to have a device that has so many little things about it, and you still just like, I love you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and man, this this thing is tasty at 200 watts. Just tasty. I'm also vaping ha hazy custard on the new uh, Kanger knee box or new box. Um, a any box, sorry, any box, because yeah, because you spell the N E and then box, yeah. Who knows? Uh, I'm also vaping custard de leche from Adari Liquids on the Smoke TF 4 Mini on top of the tree box. Yes. Hey, tell me, can I ask you a very quick question? Is the TF 4 Mini that little modification you made? Is it leaking still, or is it fine? Uh, I don't have yet a final verdict for that. Okay, one. <laughs> I'm not trying to I'm not trying to put you in a weird position. I was only curious because I kind of want one. <laughs> With mixed feelings okay. compared to the the, the full verdict. Right on. I'm also vaping on my own DIY juice, Wet Dream. Wet Dream! Oh my God, he got naughty. <laughs> <laughs> on the Cthulhu RTA V2 with the Velocity Style deck inside on top of the Evic VTC Mini with my own sticker. I like their transparency on the sticker, buddy. Yeah. It's good. And I'm also vaping the same DIY juice inside of the Ego One VT. 
temperature control. That's it. That's pretty much it. Just looking at that uh, ego type battery, Daniel. Um, do you know if you're going to get Kanga's new sub ohm ego battery they're bringing out? I don't know. I'm I'm on Kanga Tech's reviewers list. Uh, I might get one. I don't know. I'm not sure. Ever since I saw that sneaky photo they put on Instagram, of their, they're like, look at our new Indie Box. And I was like, fuck that. What is that other thing? Because <laughs> yeah. that's what, if that's a TC, if that's what I think it is, I want it. Yeah, it's TC, the Ego style yeah, thing. That would be awesome. Yeah. And by the way, the, the knee box, it's also nickel and titanium temperature control. And oh yeah, that's this. right. They got the titanium right. I'm loving this guy, but uh, but I have the quick, the 30 minute quick look on my channel. <laughs> Everyone, go look at that. It's not, a quickie. It. it's not a quickie, but 30 minute quick look. I I watched that and I didn't feel burdened by it. I liked. It. I really like that device actually. Um, I've had my eye on it. I think it's a good idea. That's for people who want to put shit in their pocket or a purse and go. Like I don't care. It has a plastic tank. Who gives a fuck? We had plastic tanks before. I think they made it right, being compatible with all the coils in the RBI. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's what their point is. Kanger is, I, I don't want to plug them, but Kanger is a company that is actually owned by a bunch of vapors and the people who vape and they design stuff. And yeah, they fuck up, but, you know, they but, occasionally yeah, but, do good but, shit. What I like on them is the fact that they, they like to be on the same standard of coils for much longer than other yeah. companies. They, well, they learned their lesson, because remember Pro Tanks, one, two, three, they tried this then, and they failed, but now I think they're they're showing signs they're learning. Um, I want to shout out to OK Vapor. They said hi. They're yeah. Here. yeah. And, so uh, glad. Love them. Michaela would actually like to know, Daniel, um, what is Wet Dream? Good question. Uh, uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> I can what tell do you mean? The, I can tell the recipe. Or I can I can post the recipe on the end of the um, the live show because I cannot post now anything on the comments. Oh, that's I, a special I treat. Post. In fact, if you like, I'll post it in the comments later if you want. Okay, uh, I can post the um, the recipe, but the inspiration behind the juice, uh, I'll not say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, funny. It's a good juice. Funny. <laughs> I'm not going to ask any more questions about that. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, some Sorry. people know. But yeah. <laughs> so we have a question for you. I've always had this question for you, and I know a little bit about it, but I know the viewers out there want to know this, and that is um, what uh, you are such a technical uh, wizard. There's two things you got to tell us. One, what do you do for a living? I know the answer. This is rhetorical, guys, but you guys got to know what Daniel does for a living. And what got you into actually analyzing all this crap that, uh, I mean, we all analyze them, and I'm, I analyze them too, but you're different. So talk a little bit about that, will you? While I uh, vape. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a Portuguese uh, Navy sailor, okay, and I'm currently working on a maritime rescue center on Madeira Island in Portugal. Um, For you Americans, that's the Coast Guard. He's a fucking lifesaver. Yeah, yeah basically. Uh, and what got me into testing devices? I, I always tested my devices. Uh, I vaped since 2010. Um, I tried a few stuff on 2009, but I wasn't convinced. And then I retried uh, some things on 2010, and I and I started to to be more convinced with cardomizers and not the Siga likes, but the cardomizers and other. Be better stuff. What got me uh, out of cigarettes was the first pro tank. Got me finally yeah. out of cigarettes. And uh, I used to test everything for myself because uh, I have electronics formation. I like electronics, and I'm a geeky guy. I always I always tested my stuff, even uh, electronic stuff, smartphones, etc. I always disassemble everything. I'm a curious guy, and I want to know how everything works. And I always tested my vape stuff. I started doing reviews, not doing those tests, but then, uh, but speaking a little bit, uh, saying, for example, this device is very, very accurate, and people started to ask me, but how do you know that? 
And then I decided yeah. to to do the tests on my reviews. Fun. That's awesome. Yeah, it's clear, Isabel, you, you're geeky as crap and that you want to know how electricity works and stuff. You have kids too, right? Family, whole thing? Yeah, I have a son. Yeah. He's cute, by the way, guys. Daniel has a nice family. And sometimes we get to see him on the camera testing stuff at my Vaporium, and you can see there's a link down there <laughs> but, uh, to join us there. But just very occasionally, if you're lucky, he'll show you testing stuff live while he's testing it, and it's like, <laughs> ooh, caught on fire. Using, yeah. using stuff like this to test. And... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. For people, that, for people that don't know, Daniel does not sleep. <laughs> and stuff like this. <laughs> Daniel's either working or he's in G-spot. <laughs> <laughs> No, mm -hmm. I, I have time to sleep when I die. You will. You will have time for that. That's no, awesome. Sometimes I, sometimes I sleep. So right now you're your home. Yeah, you're not at work, are you? I forget. You no, guys are no. at four. My, my shelf. My shelf is not portable enough. Oh to, yeah. What am I saying? To bring with me <laughs> to work. That would be so awesome. Hey guys, I got to shoot a show today. Hold on. Will you help me arrange this? They're like, <laughs> no, this is the military. <laughs> You gotta go save someone. It is funny to see him on the G spot though. He'll be like, "I gotta go." Boom, and it's like you know someone is out there, like some asshole jumped in the water, you know, like, and you're out there throwing him a freaking like, "Get out of the fucking water." Have you? Um, I haven't looked through all of your videos, Daniel. But have you ever done a video, um, like showing and explaining what sort of things you actually do use to do, to do the testing that you do? <clears throat> or would it be something you'd want to keep a secret? Ooh, that's a good idea. I think I not, I I didn't. Just the just the temperature control tests. But even doing the temperature control tests live on the review, I'm I'm going. I'm thinking in uh, cutting that part or making that part quicker because I, I'm rethinking my reviews and shrinking my reviews a little bit more. Even being the same technical. As I am on my reviews, but a little bit more shrinked. But yeah, my my temperature control tests are actually made with the, the equipment, but my power tests no, I just bring the graphs. Okay. But yeah, here is my <laughs> here is the the equipment I use. Yeah, pretty much. To test the 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 power on the devices. It's actually um an very advantage. nice voltimeter. An advanced multimeter uh, calibrated by a scope. Okay, and inside of this, I'm using this as a box with a bunch of components I soldier it, including modulators and a few stuff. So I can, so I'm able to test everything, if even pulse width modulation devices. And you've actually made that into a pretty compact little thing that's more versatile than it looks. That's cool. So you're yeah. just using that box, that, that voltimeter box, as a uh, just a case. I, I, I think if I if I unscrew the back, it will pop out everything inside. But, but <laughs> the yeah. jack in the box. <laughs> did you put a little winder on it? Did ding did it? Did ding did ding ding. <laughs> That's funny. I, uh, and, if and anybody I, and I actually use the 510 in here if I want to test, if I want to do the testing with an actual atomizer. So that's why this 510 yeah. is, is still here. And it should be clear to everybody, but all you guys in the chat ask us questions. Yeah. If you want to ask Daniel any questions or any of us, just post them in the chat and we're watching the chat. So yeah. I apologize if I interrupted you, Daniel. Oh, Michaela knows, knows my crush. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. Bye. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. She's hilarious. Shall we bring in George? Absolutely. We have a special guy. You introduced him. He's George. He's a he's a UK guy. We're gonna have him on for our vapor story. Yeah, George is just a original, just a standard vapor, not a reviewer or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people in the chat probably would have seen him in the G spot. He is a member of myvaporium.net. If you're, if everybody, anyone in the chat isn't. Go check that website out, guys. <clears throat> it is a really good website. I am on there most of the time when I'm not at work. Um, so, yeah, uh, bring in George. <clears throat> Here you go. Unmute yourself, buddy. Hello. Hello, George. Hi. I vaped you, sir. 
<laughs> so, George, uh, if you just want to let people know what you're vaping on and a little bit about how, how long you smoked and how you got into vaping. Okay, so I'm currently smoking on my Segeli 150 <coughs> temp control, my crown, with my own what? DIY juice, which I made with, which I made with my... S <laughs> what was that word you just used? <laughs> vaping. <laughs> and yeah. I'm vaping on my DIY juice, which I made with Luke, which I sort of messed up the, the recipe with. But I won't go, I won't go into that one. As I was Same mistake. peach? <laughs> no, no, it was, a, it, was a, it was a random one. But yeah, I, I started smoking when I was 18, when I was going like out in clubs. Clubs and all that, I started smoking with my mates like once, twice, twice a night, and then it started to get more and more as I went out, and then to the point that of a day I'd be needing one, and then during the day I'd have one, two, three, it got to the point that I was having three, four, five, even six a day, and that that's where I thought, nah, I, I, I really don't like smoking. So then I thought, why not? I'll, I'll start vaping. So then it must have been February this year I started vaping. I got I got one of those pens that everyone does, and I was on the 18 nick then on the pens, but now after two months of that, I got my first cool fire with the ISO very good. tank on. And then I ISO, that. very good way to start. Indeed, the cool fire, and then about three, three, four months after that, I got my Sigali. And then the reason I stopped smoking was because it was, it was more of the fact that I knew it was bad for my health. So I thought, I just need to stop it. And then vaping, vaping seemed more, more enjoyable, more... Well, there's more, a lot more flavours there, so I wanted to get into flavours because I'm really like the fruity guy. I'm not really a cloud yeah. chaser, I'm more of the more of a flavour chaser. But I know I really, I really preferred the flavours I got from it. What did you? Where did you hear about vaping? I I first heard it from a mate who who started doing it because he just picked one up because he he didn't want to. He never wanted his parents to he smoked. But they didn't know much about vaping, so he thought I can get away with that. And then I thought, oh, I'll try the same. And then late, late down the line, we we both upgraded at the same time, and it just really went on from there, really. But I'm um, I'm really enjoying it more because as as now I'm starting to DIY myself and getting some really weird flavors. Some I like, some I don't like, but it, it's getting better. So you didn't really have any trouble. Thing. You didn't really have much trouble going from cigarettes to the vaping, or was it hard for you? Um, yes, I know. I wouldn't really call it trouble. Just that because I was still going out with all my mates, going out drinking all that, I would still smoke and vape. But then, be on this Sunday, I would have stopped completely smoking for the three weeks. So I'm trying to keep like that. So that's great. Congratulations. Yeah. So I the nasties. I'm trying to stay away from because. I know they're bad because I had a I had a little incident when my grand granddad was in hos was in hospital. He smoked for thirty years plus, and that really made me stop. So we're getting yeah. there. I'm sure a lot of us have been through that. I lost <clears throat> both my uh, my nan and my granddad down to cancer and smoking, and it's definitely not saying that I'd want to put my uh, children through. So <clears throat> yeah. I can't count the number of people in my family who died of cancer, quite a few, five or six or more. My mother died of cancer in 96, 95, and uh, my dad died like three years ago. It's just, come on, guys, no smoking. I'm so proud of you two guys. That's great. I honestly can't even say when my anniversary is. Daniel, how long ago did you uh, stop smoking? Since two thousand, the end of 2010. Yeah. So yeah, five, five years. years. Fuck yeah. yeah, that's fucking awesome. That is totally awesome. Did you All ever right. have any, any problems when you were when you started vaping, Daniel? Did you did you just vape or did you smoke and vape? Yeah, when I started, yeah, I smoked and vape. Uh, I got rid of smoking when I got my first pro tank. So pro tank, I, baby. <laughs> How long into your vaping was that, do you think? Uh, sorry, what? Do you know how long you were vaping when you stopped smoking completely? For a, uh, I was vaping and not vaping 
uh, for a year since 2009. Um, but cartomizers wasn't really my my thing. <laughs> yeah, I they hate those good. things. They actually they were actually very good, but yeah, uh, I was all, always um, going for cigarettes. Cool. Yeah, I had problems with those things too. I could, and the the quality of the liquid that I was getting was just so all over the map a few years ago, just like insane. And I can imagine in 2010 it was even worse. Uh, quick question for everybody, guys. Um, Michaela uh, asked, "What does what RDA does everyone recommend for someone wanting to begin dripping? Start with velocity or postless?" Um, my Good opinion. Question. My opinion would Comparing be both. Uh, oh, uh, well, yeah, postless or velocity, I'd probably say the velocity just because it's easier to build on. But, but, but yet, my, my but, recommended RDA would be the tugboat. Yeah. Well, well, I I just got a dripper just over a week ago, and I got this. I think it's called the Fat Butter, but it was the only one they had. They had they had in the shop. This guy recommended. And it's really, really big. It's really easy to build in. So I, I, I liked it. I found it. I found it easy to build. We don't have built in it yet, but it makes it look a lot easier. And I'm not as scared as you, you're sort of trying to cram some coil in. And you can't really fit anything else in it. Yeah. But I, I really recommend like probably. I got a support and a, a velocity. Those are pretty, pretty easy starts. I want a postless one. I don't, I don't own one yet, so that's gonna that's on my list. Yeah, Aid said uh, Royal Hunter or the support. Well, look, JH is here. Hey, hi, JH. What's up, Jay? I'm seeing you. So, <clears throat> yeah, I definitely would say any beginner, that especially for me, even when I first got my RDA, my first RDA was a tugboat version one, and for, especially for flavor, I'd say it's still one of the best RDAs out there for flavor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's it's easy to build on. Nice big juice wells as well. If you, in case you're an over dripper. <clears throat> yeah. In fact, the support is the reason I got the over dripping. The velocity is, is super good to start with for anybody, just because it's easy. You can do one or two or whatever you want. And um, for flavor, yeah, I mean, listen to him. Luke, that's all he does is sit around dripping all day long. Pretty much, except from now yeah. I've got this crown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Now that he's got a crown, he's like, oh, I have a tank and I love it. Yeah. I find tanks so much easier because if you fill them up a few hours late, you got to fill up again. It's so much easier. You don't have to worry about getting dry hits until yeah. you see the juice run up. Yeah, we had this we had this discussion the other day in G Spot. If if I'm even now because I've got the easy dripper in my car, I will still drip because it's it's so much easier. Um, but before I had the easy dripper, I would take a tank when I'm driving. But now I just constantly drip. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm like a tank guy. I'm so sorry my dog is going crazy because someone else's dog is walking. I'm a tank guy, but I swear, now that I've got a couple of good atomizers, I mean RDAs rather, and I can build on them, I use them all the time. I carry around this dripper all the freaking time with just, you know, a bottle of Hazy Custard or a bottle of this Delicious Smiley or whatever. And then I use the tanks if I know that I have to go to, like, a job where... I'm going to need to stick it in my pocket and walk outside for you know 15 minutes at a time. Otherwise, I drift. I'm an RTA guy. <laughs> yeah, rebuildable tanks. That's a rebuildable tanks are super great. Daniel's really good at building on those tanks. I have a couple of those. In fact, the tanks that I take are RTAs too. My Earl Koenigan or my sub tank mini. These are both built, you know, yeah. myself. I think that's a good way for any hobbyist to start as well, building. If you don't want to do drippers, you can start building on tanks. Yeah, I know uh, <clears throat> this is a question that George may not be able to answer because he's, I know he's only just got his RDA, but what's um, people's recommended way of building coils? I use a Coil Master clone. Um, do you use a, just a screwdriver, Daniel? Have you, do you have a coil jig that you use? Uh, I always use my Coil Master P3. Always. Um, I got so used to, to use the Coil Master that I use the Coil Master all, all the time. Yeah, I find it so much easier than trying to screwdriver and building coils like that. 
that is what I'm starting on now. I I, j I I just bought a little toolkit with some different things in which I'm going to start doing my own calls and this one pops. But yeah, may may maybe one day I might get a coin Yeah. <laughs> Clapton's and the Coil Master. And also, you know, some of you guys that are newer to, newer to uh, building and stuff, when you start, if you have a deck that's big enough, like a Velocity or whatever, to, you know, don't be shy about buying that UD Clapton wire and starting to build with that because it's not that hard if you use the Steam calculator to use the Clapton wire. And if, you're if you want to learn how to make your own Claptons, it's a good way to know what they should look like when you're finished, at least. They're pretty decent. Yeah, especially if you're uh, new to building coils. Um, if you've got good shops around as well, don't hesitate to go in and ask them to show you or build you something, because I know shops around by me, if you ask them, they would actually build you a coil and explain exactly how they're doing it and what they're doing. Yeah, in all, in all fairness to the, to the shop down my road, the guy inside actually built my coil for me because I was sort of worried I might just blow myself up. As, yeah. uh, as as everyone else on the cheese spots for you for me. That's a good way to do it. Where you can obviously watch watch YouTube reviewers. There's plenty out there that build coils. But it's definitely a good idea to get someone to show you in front of you so you can see what they're doing. Oh, and my buddy my Jeremy is reminding me. For some reason, his chat isn't showing up in the chat. But he was saying also, don't forget the Kennedy and the Nixon. It's also pretty good. And also maybe the Magma. Because it's a very good flavor and, and is very easy to do. There's a lot of good choices, actually. Too many. Yeah, maybe so. Velocity <laughs> style is always a thing to look for because, like the RDAs that have velocity style decks are very easy to build on, and so that's a that's a catchphrase to look for when you're shopping online uh, when they're it, shopping. It they might be appearing easy to build for us, but I have been. Watching beginners on RDAs um, saying that the velocity style deck is more tricky to build than a regular post deck. Oh, I wouldn't have guessed that. Okay, cool. Good to know. They they seem Why to is be that? for us, but yeah, I would not recommend for a beginner. There you go. Start with like a sub tank mini or something, or whatever's on that TFE4, or your maybe even the. <laughs> I don't have the crown rebuildable, but is it? It's decent now. Are they going to make a new version of that? Can't you? Can you put the mini crown one inside the big size crown? The RDA. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> what the mini crown? Or the mini? Yeah. The RDA deck. Does it go into? Will it fit into the full size crown? There are a mini crown. Isn't there a, a smaller crown size? Am I oh. confusing that with a different tank? Or, or are you confusing with the TFE4? I am confusing it with the TFE4. I'm talking <laughs> oh, about the mini size one. I'm so sorry. It's, you know what time it is here? I, I, <laughs> I, woke up, I just woke up two hours ago, but yeah. I was <laughs> so, so forgive me. Yes, what I meant was the TFE4. Because uh, Luke and I were talking about this, whether you could stick the RDA from the mini size uh, TFE4 no, into yeah. the deck of the big size yeah, TFE4. Everything is interchangeable, but of Ooh. course the, the the RBA that comes with the TFE4 Mini is a smaller RBA, so you can have more GIST capacity. That's what I was thinking. Everything is interchangeable. That's cool. That's cool. That is very cool. So we're about just over halfway through now, guys, so uh, let's all take a vape and we'll do the RBA giveaway. Great idea. Let me read rip. I'd love to have a big vape. You know, this Psycho X drama cream is pretty good, actually. It's a strawberry cream, Jimmy. And that's why sometimes I grab them a dripper, because they got to keep on refilling it. <laughs> oh, that's no con, my friend. Yeah, you'll, you'll get used to that. <laughs> yeah, the con, the con is how high you can run it. What are you at there, uh, Daniel? I'm, going I'm, up to I'm running watts. on 75 watts, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel's on 200. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> on the velocity, I'm at 200 watts <clears throat> with the uh, Adori liquid hazy custard because it's so tasty at 200 watts. There's something about it at that at that wattage. Seriously, it's amazing. All right, so guys, RDA giveaway. Uh, <laughs> giveaway. I'm gonna show you it on the screen. 
first one to comment, uh, put in the chat what it is, will be the winner. So there it is. If you can tell me what that is, it is yours. I'm presenting him right now. What is that RDA? <clears throat> I know the answer. It is an RDA. <laughs> <laughs> I only know because you told me it. <laughs> I have no idea. You're not included. So there's going to be a 30 second delay or so. Yeah. Ryan asked what we're giving away, but he's about to find out. This is actually the time when it's fun that there's a, little, a delay in yeah. the chat. It's, you know, it's like the only time at school. Oh, someone's Wait there. a minute, hater. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for the... Uh, Correct. Oh, there we go. A... <laughs> it is not a uh, Mad Hatter. It is the Mad Hatter Mini. So it looks like Aid's getting this when I go up to him. <laughs> oh. the Mad Hatter Mini. Good. There you Good go, Aid. Congratulations. Good for, shipping. Good for shipping. Yeah, I go in my car. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, you guys didn't know that if you want, he's going to walk it to your house. Yeah. So congratulations, Aid. That will be coming up with me. <coughs> that is yours. I'm jealous. That's a good one. Yeah, I've got both sizes. I'm not that keen on the mini version, to be honest. I've had a few mini RDAs, and I prefer the big size RDAs over the mini versions. And I'm sorry to all of you guys who guessed extremely closely, which was almost everybody okay, and yeah. Vader and Brian and <coughs> also yeah. Skeletor. Everybody. Sorry, guys. You did need the correct size and... <laughs> it is the middle. Trick question. <laughs> <laughs> Not a trick question. It's Veep Day. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah. Can you play the song again? Oh, go on then. Halfway One through. One more time. Let's have, a, let's have a little song. Happy Veep Day to you. Happy Veep Day to you. Happy Vape Day, dear Polish Vapes UK. It's also Luke. Happy Vape Day to you. <laughs> I'm proud of you. <clears throat> yes, I am proud of myself. It was a, I had two years of struggling from smoking and vaping, so I'm happy now that I am a whole year smoke free absolutely <laughs> and it's, it's that's our message my uh, brother-in-law's birthday today as well so i can oh. never really i can never really forget <laughs> <laughs> show out thing i hope is that i'm i'm 3 weeks into mine and so i can get my my one, my one year vape vape celebration in 40, very excited for you too. I hope for. it's important and that's one of our messages for all the viewers too is that it is hard as fuck to quit smoking. <laughs> yep. And we all had a hard time quitting smoking. And if you're having a hard time quitting smoking, you know, just no. be feel okay about it. It's much more easy today with things like this one. Yeah. He's so thing. right. Yeah, yeah it, it definitely is a lot easier now compared to when it first started. And the quality have, of the e-juice that we get now and that's available to us. You have absolutely no reason to be smoking. That's true. No. We're here to help you. to jump into that lake shop. That's all I got to say. That's what I did. I jumped in there and I came back out. And so you like your local vape shop. Tell us a little bit about your local vape shop. Uh, my local vape shop, well, you can't, because I'm in uni now, the one I first went to is absolutely crap. I would never go there again. But the one the one here in where, where I go uni, it's really, really good. The, the guy who I always go and see, he's, he's great at building his own coils, does his own liquids, everything. You can never, you can never do more to help you. He's always like, oh, when, when you, when you, when you're trying this, maybe try and do this, or try different ways. And it's always, it's always something that really spurs your, spurs your mind and just gets you always thinking. And so, just stuff, just stuff like that really helped me quit. But I'm getting there. I'm starting, starting to enjoy vaping so much more, and I never want to touch the nasties again. I'm so glad. Yeah. What's the uh, name of the shop, George? Um, Bulldog Vapors. It's in Liverpool. Bulldog Vapors. Bulldog Vapors in Liverpool. You guys are cool. Thank yeah. you for helping him. Indeed. So I might go up there after if, if it's still open. I might go up there and 
Buy, buy, buy some juice because I'm fed up my DIYs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, we almost missed a question. Someone named Just a Tip asked if anybody had the Velocity Mini clone with the BF pin. What is the BF pin exactly? Uh, BF. I don't know what the BF pin is. <clears throat> Just I've, go I've, only, I've got the uh, Velocity, but I haven't got. I'm not sure what the BF pin is. I guess a full size. Unless that's, unless that's for squonking. <clears throat> oh, bottom feet. Bottom. It might be the bottom yeah, feet. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it'd be for squonking. Um, <laughs> cool. I believe Nikki's got one, actually. I think she ordered a squonker yeah, pin. Yeah, I think you're a... right. <clears throat> so you might I, ask oh, Vapen with Nikki B. Yeah, I haven't used one with the bottom feed pin. Yeah, she's a friend of the show. She loves hers. Yep, you can find her on myvaporium.net. That's right, you can. Absolutely. That's also one thing that made me quit smoking, was that being, vape, being vaping, I could, I could actually try and do tricks. Uh, I, I like doing that. Um, <laughs> can you do tricks? Of, nope, I can't. Yeah, uh, we got to see a trick now. You've mentioned it. Blow some O's. <laughs> nope. No, nope, you're trying. Terrible. <laughs> I tell you, my Instagram feed makes me want to start learning tricks too, because some of those guys are, and gals are incredibly good. Incredibly good. Just reading. Yeah, I've just seen uh, Michaela just put uh, yeah. starting out switching Hank Bapes has best saying doesn't matter how many cigarettes you smoke what matters is how many you don't smoke <clears throat> yeah you're not training yourself to never smoke another cigarette again ever you just don't want to be a smoker yeah so you know so even if you're vaping and having two or one cigarette a day is, is better than <laughs> having 20 a day <laughs> yeah. definitely I think like in the last three or four years I've taken puffs off you know, less than this many cigarettes, and it's because I, you know, was either curious or because I didn't have a vape with me, you know, and it never took more than one puff to make me go, oh, um, where is my fucking vape? Yeah. Um, yeah. Because I actually started, had a hookah, too, and a hookah is like a giant vape from northern Africa, and uh, they, uh, it's just a little too much nicotine. Yeah, I've got one of the uh, electronic hookahs actually that I've oh. still still not reviewed yet, but I've got it sat on my desk. Yeah, I just I just picked it up because I thought it was interesting and something very I'm different. Curious about this. Obviously, you can only use it indoors. It's not something that you can take out with you, yeah. but <clears throat> it is quite interesting. So maybe I maybe I might bring it on the show one week and actually use it while I'm on the show. <laughs> That would be funny, actually. Maybe we'll do a hookah show where I'll bust out my hookah and my my double do, double apple shisha and stuff. And honestly, though, I prefer this because it's 200 watts and you get it right now. This is as close to a hookah as a human can get. Portable. You wonder what's a delicious. So, that's one reason I gave up the hookah. I'm not sure. I'm guessing this guy in chat is... Is a troll any yeah. more any more stuff than well actually I'm just gonna do Let's it. Just, now. Yeah, go for it. Let's get rid of him. Fuck you, Zal. I don't mind. <clears throat> Are you sure? Of course I do. <laughs> um anyway, one thing I want to say is thank you to all the viewers. I keep forgetting to do, to do this, that uh, we don't always thank everybody for doing, for coming and watching the show and for making sure that if you like the show, subscribe to it and subscribe to Luke and his button is up there and mine is down here. Yeah. Make sure you sub to these guys and look at their social media. And we just thank you. We're going to put a replay up afterwards, obviously, and uh, they stay up all week. And um, I think uh, pretty soon we're, we've got things planned that are pretty cool. We've got a, um, a show with hopefully... Um, one of the local vape guys from your place, right? Hopefully, Luke? yeah. I'm trying to sort it out, yep. Yeah, that would be awesome, kind of like what we did for the first episode. And uh, we got a couple of more YouTube you know, people lined up to come on and be special guests and say cool things and tell us what they're really like. And uh, always more real vapor stories, and I've met a few people. And if you are a person who would like to come on and be a real vapor story and just tell us about quitting smoking, then email me at Juicy Jones at uh, gmail.com and you know we'll talk about it that'd be great yeah. 
you can always email me at polishvapesuk at hotmail.com as well. If you're interested on coming on the show, we can chat and <clears throat> see what we can do. Yeah, and we want people from all over the world and everything. The whole um, One of the whole themes of the show is that we're all one big vaping community. Yeah, oh, and so. the, by the way, I also have my my new website. It, it, it is uh, online for a month now, djlsbvapes.com. I already have there a section with my temperature control on the uh, my temperature control findings and testings on the DNA 200. I don't I, I don't have the full review on the DNA 200 yet, but I have there my findings because they are int interesting. Right. Yeah, cool. and if you get a DNA 200, you're going to be interested in that stuff instantly. You yeah. may not think so now, but if you buy one, you'll be like, oh yeah. Once you start that software, you'll be like, I need some in information. Just yeah. because I found that the CSV files for for each wire profiles are kind of bullshit right now. I agree with you. <clears throat> if you just set for TCR of the uh, of the of the the wire you are using is so much better. Yeah, it's funny because uh, Aid and Polish Vapes and I worked pretty you know tirelessly getting that stainless steel thing to work, and uh, it was a lot of work. It was fun. It was really fun. But uh, the average Joe is going to have a problem with that, so it's good to have friends and good to look stuff up on the internet and yeah. watch YouTube and stuff. <clears throat> and we also would like to try and get on a woman uh, vapor as well. We don't obviously just want um, men on here. We would like to get a, a lady on if they wanted to come on. Please don't hesitate to um, email us and we will get you on the show. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> this isn't just a boys' party. <laughs> Not at all. In fact, uh, that's one of the things that uh, that we love is that you know one of the things that I love is that half of the people that vape are women, and uh, I think that they get not very much coverage in the you know sort of like media or whatever. But I mean, gals vape all over the place. Everywhere I go, I see gals vaping. So I don't see them on YouTube, and I don't see them on TV in a good way enough. So if you're one of yeah. them too. Come give us a story. Come talk to us. Yeah, I know me and. Juicy have spoke with. We're gonna, we're gonna try and do an episode with some women vapors and women reviewers, and do a little chat about all of the stuff that's gone on over the years. Yeah, we are. It is in the works. I forgot. That's right. That's another thing we have planned is to do a show on just the culture of vaping, and then, and then some of the issues that some of the gals have had, and some of the issues that some of the guys have had with that too. So uh, that's gonna come up in the future. We're also gonna talk about. Uh, we may do a show just on DNA 200s here in a little while. That would be fun with a couple of people we know that are smart, one of yep. them being pretty close here in the chat <laughs> down there. And um, also, one day we're going to do a, um, a whole show just on coil building because we know a lot of people who are great at that. And then we'll try to cover some basics and some advanced stuff too, and that'd be fun. And yeah, uh, yeah that's great. Uh, maybe doing a bit of a DIY show as well for people that, that want to make use. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me, Sue. That's right. Uh, Polish Shapes UK is totally pushing to do one of those two, and he's absolutely right. That's great. So we will do one where we actually even just mix stuff on screen and we talk about it too. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I know we, especially me and you, Juicy, we do stuff differently. You do yours by weight. At the moment, I'm still using the syringe method. So that'd be quite interesting. <clears throat> You're having a great, delicious time with that, I know. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah. Loving this peach yogurt. I don't think it's going to last very long, but <coughs> loving it. I'm so glad. Well, then, uh, if we don't have anything else, then I'm perfectly fine with uh, thanking everybody and uh, going. So, everybody, please like and subscribe and tell your friends and repost the replay. I want to thank Daniel, DJ LSB Labs, for coming because he's one of our good friends and he's just the freaking coolest dude ever and saves people's lives for a living. And I want to thank George because he is a super nice guy and I, it's really important that we see regular people and um, that's my thank yeah. you yeah. and please don't forget guys just if you like the show as well like it share it let's let's get it out there to other people that that don't see it <clears throat> we would like to get our message out there and obviously the reason why we started the show is for just vapors and trying to show the standard vapors as well not just reviewers and people that are, you know, so there's, other, there's other shows out there that do other sort of stuff where we want to try and stay and stick to looking at actual just normal vapors. Yeah. You! What? 
Okay, well, I want to thank all of you, and this has been a fun show, and let's vape the hell out. I'm at 200 watts too, man. I'm staying there. Where's the button? <laughs>